secure containers, those little tiny boxes of happiness that keep you going, anchors that just don't let you quit Tarkov, and surprisingly, the only thing that is always there for you. Unless all you have is Alpha, then, well, I salute you my friend, welcome to the struggle train. In this Escape from Tarkov guide, I will have a look into secure containers. I will give you all the answers about how to get those bad boys and what to put inside them to make them pair like a little kittens. That also means mentioning some keyholder containers. So buckle up and let's do it. Let's start with options that we have at our disposal. Right now there are 5 secure containers in game. Alpha, Beta, Epsilon, Gamma and Kappa. There is also Omicron around the corner, but we don't really know much about it, so there is no point going into speculation. If you own standard edition of the game, you have two upgrade paths, but in reality you probably always pick Epsilon over Beta. Right now flea market is locked until you reach level 20. That means buying all the barter items needed for trade is heavily delayed compared to how early you could get it in the past. You could always try to find barter items yourself, but truth to be told, Reserve is a very challenging map and that tank battery in your backpack will make it very hard to get out with it alive. Even then, that's not the end of the story, because you need even more rare items for the barter. It's probably possible to do it if you know Reserve like the back of your hand, but by doing so you lose a lot of precious time chasing this dream instead of doing what in my opinion is more important, focusing on tasks and leveling your traders. What's even worse for Beta is that in theory you could get your Epsilon as fast as level 21. This is the level requirement for getting Punisher Part 6 quest. Yes, it's a hard quest for new players, but I still feel like it's the way to go. Unless you just can't kill anything in this game. Then maybe Beta is what you should get. If you want to rush the kills, the fastest method is just going to Factory. It's a very small map with fast PvP action, so worst case scenario it will take a few hours and a big chunk of your savings. If you don't want to suffer too much, then you can always go sniper route and just get some kills as you do other quests. Just go with what works the best for you. Now, Gamma is something you can't get in-game, the only way is buying Edge of Darkness edition. But worry not, there is even bigger container you can get, the Mighty Kappa container. In the past all you had to do was to level up your traders to maximum loyalty and turn in all the so-called streamer items to fans. But this why BSG went full YOLO and also added level requirement. Now you have to reach level 72, task that is almost impossible to achieve unless you play laps 24-7. To put it more into perspective, to go from level 71 to 72 you need as much experience as for going from level 1 to level 43. If at one point BSG will come to their senses with kappa requirements, just make sure to keep all the streamer items you find along the way. Some of them could be quite hard to get. In the past I was usually missing 2 or 3 of those items when reaching max loyalty traders. So you have secure container of your dreams, question is how you can use it for its full potential. The answer to that question will probably vary a lot. People have different preferences when it comes to what they value the most. So I can only show you my ways and try to explain why I think it's the optimal option for me. Let's start with the small one. Alpha has only 4 slots so we have to pick and choose wisely. At the start of the wipe I will keep their extra meds. At first we don't have much choice, I will put their 2 AI 2 medkit, but I will try to look for car medkit as replacement as fast as possible. With some luck we can save one slot by putting their IFAC or AFAC. Next slot will be always reserved for a long lasting painkiller. You get Vaseline in your starting gear and you should make a good use of that item. Normal painkillers are terrible, they will dehydrate you like there is no tomorrow. So when I know I'll be in a fight or I don't have time to fix my broken limbs, I will always use Vaseline. It gives you 5 minutes of freedom, so plenty of time to find safer place to patch yourself up. The best item to use in that slot is Golden Balm Star. It gives you plus 5 energy and plus 5 hydration. It takes away minus 50 energy when used, but because your energy and hydration levels can drop below zero in Tarkov, if you find yourself fatigued or dehydrating, this item will save you from unavoidable death. To explain this in detail, let's say you're fatigued and your energy is at zero. You use Balm and after 5 seconds you have now 5 energy. When it drops to zero again, you use another charge and that way it should keep you alive long enough to safely extract. Next very important item for your secure container is CMS Surgical Kit. In my opinion you should always have it in your secure container, it's just a lifesaver, especially if you'll get your stomach destroyed in a firefight and you don't have your get out of jail free card, the Golden Balm Star. 
You can barter for CMS kit with Jaeger just for 3 nippers, so keep your eyes open on those and pick them up while in raid, until you have a reliable way to buy it. As you can see, items I mentioned so far will make a perfect use of our 4 slots in Alpha Secure Container. So right now our perfect build is using CMS kit, the Vaseline slash Golden Balm and the last slot goes to IFAC or AFAC. Now, there will be situations where I have to take a quest key with me or I have a good key that I just want to use. In that case, our best move is swapping for IFAC. This is actually a general rule of mine. IFAC is the first item you can safely replace. For instance, to secure that one quest marker or maybe to go with Alu Splint. I usually prefer going with IFAC or even better AFAC, especially when I don't have Golden Balm yet, because that item will allow me to brute force dehydration, fatigue, health loss if I will ever find myself in a, such a bad spot. I find Alu Splint not as important, because Vaseline will let me sprint with broken leg if I really need to. But if you really like to sprint everywhere, then maybe that's an item you should prioritize. The ultimate upgrade for your alpha is any container that can hold some extra keys. You could either go with Documents Case or Key Tool, but it will be a long time before you will be able to do so with recent level changes to Flea Market. As you can imagine, the best one for our small container solution is Kittle that takes only one slot. That way you can just swap it for IFAC and you are ready to go. Doc's case has its own benefits, because you can put their items like flash drives or money, but if you will use one, you will have to either drop CMS kit or IFAC and Vaseline. It's a hard choice to make, and I usually keep CMS, but you can't go wrong if you pick the second option, especially if you have access to Morphine or Propital. Also, after unlocking Flea Market, if price of CMS kit will not be high, then it's ok to put it into your backpack and just rebuy it in case you die. Alright, that's all for Alpha. Time to move to Beta Secure Container with 2 more slots and believe me, maybe it feels like almost nothing, but that makes a huge difference. It will give us option to finally put Survival 12 Surgical Kit inside our container. I know there are people that prefer using CMS kit plus Alu Splint, but I just find it not really that appealing option. First, use time is almost identical, just 4 seconds difference. Second thing, CMS will remove almost one half of your limp maximum HP after use, while survive 12 only a fraction. Of course this is all situational. If you are full PvP player and you always rush your enemies, then probably every second matters to you. In that case, CMS plus Alu Splint will do just fine. Otherwise, Survive 12 is the way to go, unless you really can't stand waiting 20 seconds to stabilize Fracture with it. Next item in slot will be again Long Lasting Painkiller, and then we have two open slots for anything we want. As you can see, Dog Case will fit nicely in this one, but then if you go with Key Tool, you have one extra slot to go creative. You can bring any item I mentioned before, or even some extra ammunition if it's expensive or hard to get for now. Then Epsilon comes again with two more extra slots and this is where things get more exciting. Now you have option to bring with you some utility stuff like Mule or ETG Change aka Green Steam. I prioritize Mule over healing because I always want to secure that great gear if I hit jackpot in raid, but it's your call. Even Propital in that slot is a reasonable choice. Other than that, Epsilon gives you enough space to use Dog Case or even better the Sick Case for Key Holder and you don't have to sacrifice crucial items anymore. The reason why Dog Case may be a better choice than other Key Holders is the ability to store folders with intelligence. As you can imagine, it's a great container for reserve where you can find a lot of intelligence. Saying that, Sick Case is still probably the best option most of the time because it offers more room for holding your keys. You can store folders with intelligence in it, but instead you can put their dog tags of other players. Because Sick Case was recently moved to loyalty level 4 Jaeger, it will be probably not an easy to acquire item. You could just use Kittle and dog tag case instead, but if you don't go that much for PvP, you can easily skip on dog tag case. Dog tags are very underwhelming until players switch higher levels, and even then it's not insane money. There are some barters you could go for and in the end it's just a free money, so you can't go wrong if you keep it in your Epsilon. The last container that gives you that freedom of space is Kappa. Other than items I mentioned so far, I guess the only advantage it gives you is the option to put their extra magazines inside. That way you can just quickly swap empty 60 rounder from your chest rig and not waste any time repacking that magazine with spare ammo. You will also have room to bring more utility stimulants like maybe extra Propital. Some people will also use that space to hold VOG grenades. 
option for ultimate space optimizer so is putting x47 handguard or trucks 1 and trucks 2 connected with bridge into your secure container to shrink x47 to one slot you have to put it on gas block first to put flashlights on trucks handguard you need extra rails what you will choose is your call, but I feel like having option to save long range scope in your secure container can be just too good. Either way, you have to always remember to switch up items in your secure container when you find something better in raid. For instance, you found GPU, put that between your botox and swap it with medkit or even survive 12 kit. That way you can either make some money or use the item for barter or crafting. Just make sure to follow trader sell value when deciding what to keep, because GPU will sell for anything between 300k to 1 million on flea, but only for 125k to therapies. Also, don't drop items you can't easily replace. I made that mistake in the past, swapping Vaseline and then dying. Painkillers dehydrating me while in raid is still my biggest nightmare. I hope this info gave you a better understanding of what to expect and how to maximize the usage of your secure containers. If it was helpful and you want to see more, then consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you in raids!